Welcome to the Monday Night War. I am Luca in DAD, representing Monday Night Raw. I am Pete Quinnell, representing Monday Night Smackdown. And I am Dan Layton, representing Monday Night NXT 2.0. And we are playing My GM Mode on WWE 2K24. And this video is sponsored by WWE 2K24. Get your copy of the game by clicking the link in the description down below, and you can play My GM with your friends as well. This is episode five of season four. We're about to go into hell. In a cell. It's our first hey, pay-per-view. Pay yes, the first cycle, one. The first cycle complete. I'm very I nervous. Yeah. I don't know why. Also, well, we need a bit of clarification from last week as well. Mm. Because we figured out on the booking podcast that your power card that you played does apply to this yes. week. Yes. yes. It didn't apply to last week. Ergo, Pete was bad last week. Well, but this was what was curious, was Pete wasn't that bad last week. I mean, it's going to really create a gulf between us now, isn't well, we it? We I'd only, be embarrassed if I was Pete. We only came to two logical conclusions. Either your power card had applied, mm. or Pete was bad. Oh yeah, we figured this out afterwards, yes. And because it wasn't this one, it just means that Pete was bad. Mm. And you're right. Like, he's currently in third now. Yeah. Which means he might even be further in third. He might look like me. It's a bit cringe, actually, isn't it? Oh, yeah. When you think about yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, hey, all the more reason to get the booking podcast come to patreon.com for that wrestle talk absolutely yeah so how are you feeling about this week Pete? yeah it'll be fine i suppose i'll do my best that'll be a first I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> ah. I've, I've, won, I've won three times then <laughs> I've done, I think I've done quite well. On easy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like Dan bragging about winning. It doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> What are you doing there, Luke? Uh, me? Yeah. Um, well, I did say on our last set of tapings that Delilah Bond's uh, new song had not been released yet. Mm. We're now on a new taping day, and it has been released. So I'm going to listen to Maverick by Delilah Bond, and then I think I might also listen to the new track by John Carpenter. Oh. Called My Name Is Death. How exciting. Yeah. I um, I know I listen to a lot of pop divas, mm. and, uh, and I think it's time to sort of uh, get serious with the pay-per-view cycle. It's time to have something, you know, really like sort of masculine. And what could be more masculine than like a, a gang of men, like hanging out, ready to sort of, you know, do a group activity, the Backstreet Boys. Right, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna assume shenanigans. We already know about Dan's power card. And now I have a dilemma. Now I have a dilemma. Not while the time is going. Now I have a dilemma where I'm gonna talk to you now because I've got a special promotion power card which I can play and it will get me way more fans. But if I get way more fans, that means Dan gets way more fans because he's getting 10% of my fans. Do I play it? Do I save it for another pay-per-view? What do I do? I don't know. Let's find out. Seven minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, something's come up and I can't have Valhalla. F***ing wonderful. Great. She was planned for a match. My contract is up at the end of the week. Uh, another five weeks, 58K. Uh, I already have an authorization to extend your contract. I'll be playing the power card for that. That's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Jinder Mahal, Randy Cheat made the last match. I want a rematch. Uh, yeah, because you're going to be on this show, in fact. Great. Shayna Baszler, just wanted to thank you for keeping your word. It means a lot to me. No worries, Shayna Baszler. Do not book your most popular cruiser. F*** you, Triple H. All right. Um, main event. Randy Orton. Jinder Mahal. Title match. Uh... Match. Let's just do normal for now. I'll change that later because I've just remembered that there's logistics to buy. I have two assets, so I could just buy a permanent thing. I could get like the email campaign or I could get the pay-per-view bonus here because you get every pillar you get a branded pay-per-view bonus. It costs one asset and 50K. I get plus 5% show quality, plus $2 on the ticket price and plus 2,500 capacity for that. Let's do it. Let's purchase that for 50K. Wonderful, got that. Uh, my opener, I want to have Braun and Umberto. Again, I'm, I'm just filling out the card right now, and I will do the actual, like, stipulations of stuff later. Uh, let's do a tag match, and this is going to be Chad and Ridge versus Drew and Screeds. Uh, in fact, I'm going to move them here, and we're going to have Cora Jade and Shayna Baszler in the middle. And then I was going to have Nikki Cross and Valhalla, but obviously can't do that. So we're gonna have a triple threat here with these three, which means I don't have literally any promos at all because everybody is busy. 
Um, do I want to do that? Probably not. Maybe I should just have a singles match and do Zoe Stark versus Christina Fury and have Nikki Cross at least do a promo. You know? Maybe I should do that. No, I want Christina Fury and Zoe Stark. I'll do that. And then I can do at least I could do like a, a charity promo from Nikki Cross. Right? That's something. I could try and sign someone potentially. So, okay, so I've got special promotion here. Because uh, I've got... Okay, so I've got the back alley crew. Pre-match physio I don't need. Get the tables. That's only 30k, not 50 this time. Okay. Interesting. I don't think that's worth it for the amount of money that I've got. Special promotion. Sure that you'll retain most of your fans this week. I'm going to save that for the next PLE. I don't want to benefit Dan. Stupid Dan. How much time have I got? Three and a half minutes. Okay, let's put some stipulations on some matches. Um, so you guys can battle in a TLC, sure. I don't get any branded pay-per-view bonuses for anything, do I? I don't think so. So let's book you in a TLC. Let's book you guys in... I could just do a tables because you're good at that. Let's book you guys in... Let's book you guys in a TLC. And let's book you guys in... Extreme Rules. Two normals, that makes sense to me. Now I'm gonna... Very quickly... Try and do some talent scouts here. Olaf Ostrovsky, he's back. Um, Red Bonsu, Trixie Gambit. What's the promo... Skill? I didn't mean to do that! How do I check the... Th I don't want that either. I want that one. Thank you. Okay. Promo skill of two, one, three, one. Trixie Gambit. Sign you for five weeks. And you can do a... a ooh, you could do a something, can't you? A charity pro... No, let's do advertising. Because again, the more fans I get, the more fans Dan gets. And Dan. Um... Two minutes left. I think I'm done, honestly. Uh, that seems good. That's a level four. That's going to be a killer match. That's a level three. That will blow off. That's a level three. That will blow off. Stark and Fury are in a level one feud? Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, that works for me then. And then that's a level three. That will blow off. Great. Okay. Logistics I've got. Because I only have one asset, so I can't buy any others yet. But next week, I will have two and hopefully money, so I can buy another one next week. Uh, which will be great. Um, who is my most popular cruiser, and how can I not book them? That is... Umberto Carrillo. Aha! <laughs> Good yourself, Triple H. I'm booking Umberto. He's the man. I don't know if you know, but he's a legend now. Um... Umberto Carrillo at the pay-per-view. Great. Jinder Mahal and rematch with Randy Orton, which he's getting this week. What other stuff have I got? Ten tag matches. There's another one done. Five rivalries with a title match. There's three of them on this show. Ten shows with a call-out promo. I've not done. I could do a Nikki Cross call-out with Valhalla, but I, I've got time for that. One in the bank, three superstars to a new rank, ten shows with a charity promo. I've got one on this show. Ten shows of GM interference. I don't want to do. I think that's it. I think I'm done. I'm done, y'all. How much money have I got left? A bit. I'll get a pre-match physio just for later. I don't need it right now, but just in case in the future. And I'm done. Let's book it. Let's book the show. Back streets, back. All, All right. right. Oh, chills. Literal chills. Pete, first pay-per-view, how was it? Uh, which one are you uh, vetoed one of my people. Uh, not guilty. Oh, that'd, that'd be me. That'd be me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, yeah, just, yeah. I just stole 10% of your fans. Who was yeah, it? Yeah, you do. Uh, Valhalla. Oh. Who it's was... The worst, is it? it's, it's not the worst. We're supposed to be on the show, though. We're supposed to have a match with Nikki yeah. Cross. Mm. So I had to pivot. But not the worst that could have happened. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm also, you know... Not. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that makes I sense. I mean, I'm more sorry for myself that it wasn't worse. 
Yeah, you know, that's fair. Um, yeah, it turns out I don't actually have that many people on my roster, you know? Yep. So when someone gets vetoed... Not even with scripts? Not even with scripts. <laughs> oh. So when someone gets vetoed it and does... I have to pivot, I'm like, oh, what about those four promo slots? And also it's a pay-per-view week, so there are five matches there I to know. Yeah, man. There was someone in the comments on episode one, on the draft day, that was like, you guys drafted too many people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did we? I don't think that's you right. You drafted more than us, and I do not think that we did. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Okay, so I left my notes at home and I didn't realize until I was one stop away from the office. I did think about turning around and going all the way back home, but no. So I've just got a bit of paper and I'm trying to remember. So if I've got time at the end of my booking, I'm gonna have to try and remember what my season goals were. But I'm not a heel, so I'm just using a board. It's because you're boring. Wow. Uh, what have you got, Pete? I'm gonna listen to a cover of uh, The Unseen Ones from Hades by Family Jewels, because it is insane and I love it. Uh, I'm also going to go the cover route, you know. Now, once I finish this John Carpenter track, I'm going to listen to Punk Rock Factory's cover of We Don't Talk About Bruno. And then I Huge. might follow that up with their cover of Eye to Eye from the greatest Disney Renaissance movie, a goofy movie. All right, let's All right, see. Here we go, music. Yep. Will um, my roosters is on. come home to... Chicken. I don't actually know what the phrase is. Alright, oh, I've got to do a timer. Christ. Um, Alright, here we go. Timer. Seven minutes of heaven in three, two, one. Let's a go. Alright, Angela Dawkins' contract is up at the end of the week. Uh, five weeks for 91k. Uh, oh. There's a let's talk figures option, but I don't think I'm going to do it at this point. Uh, I'm not going to renew the contract. Let's hope he doesn't become champion. Fallon Henley, hey boss, I have a bit of rum and a costume malfunction. Oh no, the costume malfunction. Um, you'll have to miss the show tonight. We can't have any slip ups in the ring. The network will find us big. I need all five of my feuds. Um, unless... Okay, wait, how are... Can I find out how you're doing? Um, because if I look ahead, so she's satisfied. If I look ahead, um, oh, I don't want to do the rush job and potentially have a gender my ball situation. You got, you got lady balls. I know a local tailor can do a restoration. What's my budget? What, what money do I have at the moment? How do I know? Is there, is there anyone that tells me? No, that's just my roster. I need to know how much money I've got. Um, all right, you're gonna have to miss the show. Maybe that was a bad choice. Oh, she's fine though. It didn't do a morale or anything like that. Maxine Dupree hasn't had any matches in a while. Do you have room for me tonight on the card? Um... Screw it. Yeah, I'll, I'll use you in the match instead. Liv Morgan, I'm not happy losing my strap last week. As a former champion, you've got it. Don't you worry, Liv. You are going to be my main event star. Have at least one submission match this week. Well, I can't do that because I literally don't have that card. Our main event of the day is going to be Liv Morgan and uh, Bailey. They have that level of stamina. Oh, I can do a submission match. Did I unlock that? Ooh, and they've got us. Okay, right, well, we'll do it. Fine. Fine. Um, what do I get for that, by the way? Oh, yeah, that, that would have helped today, for instance. Uh, and our opener, we will have Cody Rhodes. We'll blow off this feud. What level are they at, rivalry-wise, does it say? Uh, 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 okay, it doesn't say. Oh, level three. What am I doing? I'm being foolish. Uh, we'll put the title on the line uh, and we'll make that a four tables for now. See what happens. Tag team match, a normal tag team match for the tag team titles. We'll blow off this feud as well. Although that's a hotter feud than that. So maybe I'll pop that there. Um, and will I make that a tables match or an extreme rules match? Normal for now. Uh, logistics wise, I could probably afford to get something new. Although I've got We'll save that for next week. We'll, we'll get some money first. Right, we're gonna have Piper and Maxine. Um, they're just having a match. It's to, it's to put them on the card. And then we're gonna blow off this rival. Oh, if I wanna blow off this rivalry, I have to put them in a steel cage. And how much is that 45? So that's gonna make, oh, I'll go way. No, I'll be within budget. But um, if I have them go for one extra week, then I can always blow that off. Although I was going to maybe get rid of one of them. So I can either 
improve my show quality by having this feud blow off. Or my match card quality, I suppose that would be. Or I could just have a normal match, save a bit of budget, and maybe get involved in a little trade. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, two tables in a row is a no-go for me. So let's make them a tables and let's make them a normal, maybe? And these guys can be in Extreme Rules. Does that work? He's literally whispering every single one of them. I can hear his mouth sounds and that's really, like, genuinely quite unsettling. Um, if I whack you in the tables as well, is that the worst thing anyone's ever done? Well, I don't know. And I give you the extreme rules and I make you a tables match. And I have two tables matches on the show. I'll just keep you normal, maybe, then in that case. Because they've got the stamina for tables, they've got the stamina for an extreme rules, and he's going away anyway. Um, and then I've not got enough talent. How long have I got left? Two minutes and 25 seconds. That's okay. Because my lack of um, time... Well, my lack of notes means I don't know what really I'm doing next. I'm trying to think one eye towards the trades next week. So if I look at my roster... Um... I'm likely to go, oh, I should maybe have paid for fat. Because then, yeah, I, I got confused. And I thought Uncle Howdy and Logan Paul were higher than that. That's really annoying. Um, God, that's annoying, thinking about it. I could get rid of, I'm trying to think, like, who do I get rid of next week in the trade? Maybe, so Carl Anderson, I'm probably going to put into a feud with, uh, oh, no. It would be, it would be, oh, I don't have a good guy bruiser. Other than you. Oh, that's fine, though. I don't need to worry about that. I am I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. My Kathy Kelly coffee hasn't really helped my brain get into gear now. So let's go over and look at the seasonal challenges. Uh, use three power cards during a week. Oh, I haven't even looked at power cards this week. Um, too extreme. Beginner's luck. Get schooled. That feels like a good thing to have. Um, to do. Although I'm actually all right at the moment. Um, I've got two of those, got one of those. Let's just immediately boost them. Is there anyone I want? No, I'll, I'll do that for after the trade, see, because I don't want to, you know, I want to keep my, my hands, my cards close to my chest for the, for the trades. But, I'm not going to sign her immediately, but let's look at Sammy Vortex and see, because that's not too bad, is it? Unlocking them for that long. Mm. This cha it changes everything, the contact duration. Because I used to sign people on a permanent basis for, for that much money. And I'm getting less and less budget as we come through. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit. It's 23 seconds left. Right, let's just double check the show. Sorry this isn't the most dynamic uh, of... Oh, you knobhead! I could have just had that be a triple threat match. I could have just paid... I could have completed the feud. I'm so angry with myself. I could have completed that feud because this card looks samey. Oh, fine. 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 Seeing it eye to eye. You all right? No. Uh-oh. That was... I, I could get some anger vibes at the end there. No. What happened? Like, it's a good show. I've booked a good show, <laughs> but... I realized I did something a little bit silly. I've got, I got an email, mm -hmm. finally. <gasps> you got some capital, capital D, D drama? I got some capital D drama. Do you want to tell you about it now or should I tell you about it later? That's up to you. Fallon Henley had a wardrobe malfunction. Oh no, Jinder my balls! Jinder, Jinder's balls, oh. Jinder my balls happened. They're back so again. I got a Jinder my ball. So I, I, in my head was like, oh no, I don't want the same thing to happen mm. that happened to Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just told it to have a week off. Oh, you didn't pay for the for the permanent nope. fix. No, I just said, okay. you, know, you know what? I I also Maxine also wanted a match. So uh -huh. I was like, right, well I'll give Maxine the match this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Forgetting that their rivalry was ready to be blown off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another rivalry that I thought was ready to be blown off wasn't. Ah, so nice. I could have just if I paid for it, yeah. I could have just made it a triple threat match. Yeah. And killed two birds with one stone. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't do that though. Did you know I? what would have helped with that? What? Your notes. If you didn't forget them. 
you probably would have known oh, that you yes. would have had like certain rivalries that were ready to be yeah, blown off and not. Good point, actually, yeah. I reckon if you'd have had those, you'd yeah. have been a bit more prepared. Do you want me to cry? <laughs> Do you want me to cry? Do you know what else would have helped? Being better at the game. All right. <laughs> ah. I'm listening to, I know everyone wants to know. I do. Um, I'm going to listen to Battle Against the True Hero, which is from Undertale, cover by Falco Falcone. Falcone. I never had to say it out loud. I've only seen it written down. Is it Falcone or Falcone? I don't know. But it's them. Jennifer Lopez can be El Paso. Mm -hmm. Bye bye now. You're all in. Your music's on. Okay. It's pay per view week. It's a big one. Maybe believe in yourself. I know everyone believes in you, but do you believe in you? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. You've got a plan, execute the plan, and maybe make some additional changes. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's-a go. Okay, Triple H, our results for the second week are in. Oh, that's 1K. Um, yeah, let's keep going for one more week. I'll, I'll, I'll push my luck on that one. I bet you it really backfires on me. Uh, it's okay, we just another five weeks, be 16K. Yeah, uh, let's talk figures. Uh, if you want to end your call for, t to extend your contract for 10 weeks, so for an extra 10, 13 grand for 51K, I'll extend to the end of the season. Do you know what? Let's meet at that board now. Let's do 11K. Yep, cool, that's fine, that's okay. Oh, what do you want? Uh, now that Biggie is down level for 40, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's okay, that's great. Beige, uh, what happened to my match with Shin? Oh, he <laughs> well, he's gone, bud. There's not much I can do about that, Big. What the, what? I, what? No, what? I can't, I can't help that. He's, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Biggie, you're welcome. You're, you're, you're welcome, Scarlet. Uh, have your most popular available male. Oh, <laughs> Triple H, you do spoil me. Uh, right, okay, so I want to get the pay per view bonus thing. Uh, that's what I'm going to spend some of this budget on today. Confirm. So I can get the pay per view branding. Fine. Book show. Main event is. Beige versus Damien Priest for the world title. I'll um, just make it a normal match for now and then I'll go through all of that stuff in a minute. Uh, opener is going to be uh, Kira Tazawa versus Joe Coffey with the title on the line. Then I've got a tag team match of Tiff Dav versus the Party Girls with the titles on the line. And then I've got a mid card match of Al versus Higgs, no title. And then I've got a tag team match with British Strong Style versus The Lad with titles on the line. And then a call out promo of Flair calling out Scarlet. So that's that. That's kind of everything I wanted to book now. Oh, I've only got four and a half minutes left. How did that happen? What? I, what? No. What? I can't. So show logistics are done. I'm sure that you'll remember your fans for this week. That's good. I'm going to use a pre-match physio now, because I want to use that on beige. Um, yeah, so pre-match physio on beige. And I've got another one to use. Oh, okay. Fine, I won't use it this week then. Um, see, I was thinking of using this on Dan. No, I don't want to do it on Dan, because I, I think he... It's not next week. Next week's not the one. I'm going to save those for in the week. Um, select a superstar on your roster to immediately gain five XP and I'm going to start blah blah blah. Yeah, great, 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 great. Um, I should check actually, what do I get for this? Um, ooh, that's great. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's gimmick this up. So, Big E is good at extreme rules and Damien's good at false count anywhere. I can do extreme rules, so let's do that for Big E. Um, there is a risk of injury with that, but it's also pay-per-view week. Tazawa's false count anywhere or Iron Man. I can't do either of those, so let's do a tables match, maybe. Yeah, tables. Um, 
what are you good at? Submission tables. Oh, maybe I should make yours a tables. Tables. Oops. Nope. Tables, save. Uh, so you, I might just actually make you normal and then I'll switch you and you. Um, they're obviously not great at anything. And use uh, no holds barred submission backstage brawl hell in the cell. What the good are you two? Uh, maybe I'll make this a TLC match then. Yeah, I know they're quite hurting as well, but it's pay per view week. Got to like, got to ramp it up, haven't you? Um, okay, two and a half minutes to go. The show is booked. I now need to do some talent scouting. I need some giants, some women giants. Sassy Molassi, that's great. Sensational Starla, Ch oh, Chester, I don't like you much. And Psycho Sally, Bruiser Cruiser. I need that giant heel, unfortunately, Sensational Starla. But basically, I might just see if I need to get some people to fill out the rest of the card. I don't think it's like hugely necessary. I could do some advertising, get some money back or some charity stuff, but I would just be doing it for the sake of doing it. Because I'm going to just talk this out with you all. It depends on who wins out of Bijan Priest and which of them is not injured. It depends on what I'm doing next with regarding my title situation. Because I've got Bijan Joe possibly coming up. I can do Akira and Trick Williams. I can do Akira and Damian Priest. Um, I can team up Higgs into Zawa. I can team up Trick or Priest with Al C. So my men's side of things is fine, but my women's side is kind of lacking. So I might need to get... Let's do Renowned Star, who is a female, who is a heel cruiser. E search. Search. Alexa Bliss, who I was only going to sign uh, previously. I can't afford her. Bugger. No, I can reduce now. That's not, that's, not, that's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. Right, in which case, I think I'm done then. I think I'm going to take this fairly easy. Uh, road crew is active. That's active. I think I'm, think I'm done tables uh heel face heel face heel face heel face uh tables normal normal tlc extreme rules show logistics hell in the cell yeah uh don't think you want to play any power cards or pick anything up because i actually haven't worked out the pricing confirm booking you did that perfectly as my song ended oh well done you it's my timer mine was <laughs> almost exactly halfway through <laughs> uh, bad timing. Sorry, bud. How was your week? Uh, you know, it was it was actually okay. I got an email from Big E. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it said, Hey, man, what happened to my rematch with Shinsuke Nakamura? <laughs> well, I fired him. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, buddy's gone. That's like, what do you want from me? So technically, to not fire him. No, this is it. So Big E wanted a rematch. Like, what do you want from me? Like, that was not your choice. <laughs> You fired him. Yeah, but it's Biggie like walking into the locker room every week, being like, F "Shinsuke, yeah, yeah like, you so, haven't yeah. told anyone." So when, when Biggie's like, "Hang on, you were gonna give me a rematch with Nakamura, and you fired," I'm on Biggie's side. Yeah, right. He's, he's got you right promised him something. How are you not on my side here? Biggie, like, listen, I'm gonna walk you through it. Empathy. Put yourself in the shoes of Biggie Langston. Uh -huh. Right, your big shoes. You win things with a five count. You go around. You love your pancakes, and you go, "Ah, oh, my manager promised me a rematch with Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm really excited for that." He's promised me that. He wouldn't let me down. Wait, you fired Shinsuke Nakamura? You didn't even let me get a rematch and now I literally can't have a rematch. I'm cross with you. I think that's perfectly valid. I agree. That happened four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now he's angry about it. Did he wake up one of It's like, hang on. Because he, he, he said I'd have a rematch. He was him. holding out hope that you'd rehire him. Well, Could have done it and you didn't. For SmackDown, for Let's, see what, let's see what happened. Babe. Let's see what happened. I didn't have enough people for promos, <laughs> but oh, open up, right, open up my, my one and only level four rivalry between Braun Strowman and Umberto Carrillo in a tables match because Umberto's good at those. Uh, he's your he, biggest guy. He's your big star. Yeah. He's, a, he's, the, he's the guy. He's the you MVP. Know? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. Uh, and he, uh, uh, can't remember what I was going to say. Let's simulate the match. <laughs> uh, 
for the IC title. Hey, Braun, new champion IC Braun. champion. Double champ Braun. Which is a classic not, match. not what I wanted. He's a double champ now, because he's also the tag champ. But hey, rivalry grim, 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 complete. Oh, you, are you new here? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be Nikki Cross and Valhalla. Valhalla got vetoed. So Nikki Cross is doing a charity promo. Thank you, Nikki I Cross. I can't believe you have booked a full card with two. Uh, who in the name of hell are you having to do advertising? I mean, why do you have to do a call out promo? I, I, you can blow that feud off later. It doesn't need to be a call out. It was fine. Well, they are. More fans. Uh, level two. Oh, yeah, you've got a whole season. So I've got a whole oh, pay per view yeah, yeah, so to build it to the next one. It doesn't matter. Ta uh, tag titles. Not tag titles. <laughs> just just <laughs> a tag match. No, but one of the tag champs. One is of in the it. tag champs. And Braun is the other one who's now also my IC champ. But regardless, these guys are in a level three. Rivalry, so this will be Ron Please. Drew Gulak and Screeps win. Three and a half stars. Yeah, Very good. For good. You. Good for you. Hello, Trixie Gambit. Thank you for a bit of money. What that is a dreadful promo. For I, did, I did own I did get a for the promo skill. It's not dreadful, it's okay. In the middle of the mid card, we have Cora Jade and Shayna Baszler for in a TLC match for the women's title. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them been doing pretty well. Hopefully this will be this is a level three. That is great. Shayna Baszler. Yeah, this is Hell good. yes! Yeah, okay, Baze the wins. Christina Fury and Zoe Stark. I was going to do a triple threat with Fury, Stark, and Nikki Cross. Uh -huh. And then I was like, oh, I literally have zero people for promos. So I'll make this a singles match, and then I'll have Nikki do a charity promo, and then I'll sign someone else and at least get two promos in. That'll be fine. Uh, and then realize that Fury and Stark have a level one feud anyway. Yeah. So hey, it works out. So Why we'll, we'll, nice. we'll have them on here. Hopefully this will get to level two. Zoe Stark wins. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half stars? Oh, Disappointing! Yeah. Love that. Ooh, no rivalry either. And in the main event in an Extreme Rules match, it's Orton and Jinder Mabols uh, for the world title. Come on, Jinder. You've Come got on, this. Jinder. Don't hinder yourself. Yeah! Yeah! Jinder Mabols! Yeah! yeah! In a four and a half star classic in the main event. Event. He, he takes that picture of himself completely nude with the title. Love and just to see just that. The, the underling of a little testicle just sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> but that is three four and a half star matches. You've done that very well. And that is three rivalries blown off. Four rivalries that blown off. A, and, and I just. And you're welcome. I, I was about to say, as someone who is, who is robbing 10% of your fans, I thank you very much. I, and for the charity promo as well. I made a choice on this show uh -huh. where I could have got more fans and I said. I don't want more fans, because that means Dan gets more fans. You have a special promotion card, didn't I you? I might. And, you just didn't and I it. didn't play it. Oh, because I, I was like, nah, I'll save that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't That's want Dan to get enough. more fans. That's fair enough. What's going on with NXT? Not a lot. Um, Not a lot. Well, no, it's, it's, it's a fine show. It's a good show. We're did, you kick do, did you do the logistics? Did you do the pay per bonus? No. <gasps> I'm trying to grow money. Uh, to save okay. money. Did you do it? I did. Yeah, you I did. did. I did it, yeah. Just trying to More save fans money. for you, mate. That's it, look. Yeah. yeah, this is it. I'm getting 10% of yours. Yeah. Cutting myself a little bit of slack. We're opening with a tag team title match. Mm -hmm. See how this goes down. Will we have a tag team title change? No, we won't. No. That works. Full yeah. stars. Fine, fine, Good fine. Good stars. Nice. This is just there. Yep. Maxine wanted a match. She's a tag champ. So there is at least booking Stamina narrative. of 100. Yeah, she's not been doing anything. Wow. She's just been doing promos. But Piper is feuding with her tag partner. So in my internal logic, mm -hmm. Fallon can't be there. So Maxine's going to have to step up to the plate. And it, nice. probably Piper's going to absolutely destroy her. A giant versus a fighter. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait for that Triple H email next week. Somehow better than my level one rivalry, though. <laughs> uh, Cody and Dawkins. Now, this was interesting. Mm. I don't know if you had this, because you've signed people, but Dawkins' contract is up this week. Mm -hmm. And the two options were, thanks for your work, I won't be renewing the contract, which mm -hmm. is what I went for, because yep. you've done jack <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Well, unless he wins the title, of course. Well, then that's why. Yeah, that would be very funny. That'd be, it would be also just my look with this particular rivalry. That'd be really um, funny, though. The other option was, OK, let's talk figures. Uh -huh. Yeah. He wanted 91,000. Frankly, I didn't have that much money. Mm -hmm. But if I pressed that, I wonder whether or not it would have been like... You do have another option. You can, you can argue. So yeah. within it was, uh, that sounds fine. It's the lower offer. There's another one to extend it for 10 weeks. Mm. And then there's one to sign until the end of the season. And then your but final option okay. is... Actually, no, I'm cutting. Well, Actually, no, thank you. Well, I guess we'll find out how I feel about that when I've got more money and I care about the person. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's Please be champ, please be champ, please be champ. Yes! <laughs> In a four and a half star classic, he finally pulled it out. He pulled out the big one. It's what everyone wanted to see. I mean, it's fine because the title's vacated. Four so and like a half as, stars. As a wrestling traditionalist. Yeah. Good God. He's gone into business for himself there. Vacant <laughs> yes. on the way out, I suppose. Vacant. Uh, these guys are the ones I thought had a rivalry that was going to be uh, rompleted, but no, they're, they're level two. 
Unfortunate. So, um, I, I also was like, do I put them in a tables match? Bit of variety, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not They're just going to have okay. a normal match. See what happens. And I can blow it off on our late today. Oh, howdy, howdy still there. Yeah, fine. There's level three. Um, Great match. Howdy. Paul, howdy. Nice. Uh, and then our main event. These are my top stars. So this is the one Ooh. I'm hoping. I have contingency plans for either result here. Nice. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to this. Good Let's work. see how we do. Three, two, one. Yeah, she retains. she retains. Good for you. Four and a half stars. And a half no stars. title changes mm. on your show. You like Well, no. What Andrew massive Dawkins. title changes on my, on my show? Oh, yeah. And now don't Dawkins. have a world champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three title <laughs> retentions on your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, thing happened. Otherwise, though, obviously, I could have swapped. I swapped the um, opener with the tables because I thought they weren't. I don't know. I just felt like the tag was going to do better. I mean, the order's fine. But yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't make a difference. So, so thank you, Maxine. Good. You've come through as per. I actually don't remember how you're supposed to do the drama curve on opener and close in in, in, in a paper it doesn't really okay matter. that's that's yeah. fine then because yeah, my, so I, the, yeah the middle mid card match isn't linked to anything you can have that be few, whatever few but as long as that first mid card doesn't outperform your opener and the second mid card oh the third mid card doesn't outperform your main event yeah that's generally what happens unless they've changed it of course for 2k24 yeah. few got the opening tag team title tables match of mm -hmm. tiff dav versus the party girls titles are of course on the line of course Tiff Dav retain in a classic four and a half stars. Four and a half stars, star. crikey. And can run please the of, rivalry. A lot of four and a halfs all, yep. over, so all over the show. Fine, I can figure that out. Call out promo because Scarlet wasn't on the show this week. Hey, well Excellent. done. Wow, level two. Finally. Wow, two out of five weeks. Flair, Scar. I suddenly realized when I copied across my notes to my notepad, uh, I didn't actually copy across any of my rivalries. Nice. So I went into the show not knowing mm -hmm. who was in what. Yep. I just knew what very my fuse nice. were. I, I knew what my card was. If next shoot, mm -hmm. you forget your notebook. Mm -hmm. That would be very funny, so but it, it won't happen. Tazawa versus Joe Coffey in a normal match for the United States Championship. Tazawa retains mm -hmm. in a four-star four match. Now, very good. That rivalry, lovely stuff. I've got good plans for Doesn't you Doesn't outperform your opener, very yep. nice. This is uh, what the fans all came to see. Higgs and Traz. Yeah, Higgs. Higgs wins. And it goes to Ooh. three. Level three rivalry. And yet disappointing. still overperformed. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's impressive, honestly. Hey, Pete. Hello. Uh, uh, over the weekend, I went to visit a lovely bakery mm -hmm. down in uh, the Hackney Downs. Mm -hmm. It was called Butch and Bait. Here they are. So, I... <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> so go, go on to the next bit, Luke, to, to, to do the joke. Well, I know, but I was going to back on from that. So I've updated, you know, I've copied my notes across. Uh, I made a mistake on this one because <laughs> I wrote down specialist faced Tyler Bate and then went to write my, my other specialist faced Butch. But I started writing Tyler again. So I've now renamed him Tyler Butch. <laughs> Tyler Butch. So it's Tyler Bate and Tyler Butch. Tyler Bate and yeah. Tyler Butch, here they are. Versus oh, is the lads. They are, in fact, lads. And the lads, lads are lads. Four, Four and a half, half stars. stars. Oh, Crikey. Oh, well, Ooh, you, you better hope your main event. Form. It might if, if it's do... the same, if it's a four and a half, yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. And it's and Extreme Rules is Biggie's um, Special specialty. Ooh, so yeah, you got Should a good chance fine. then. But the stamina worries Ooh. me. Ooh. Oh, goodness. 38 so, and 39. So Biggie has had a pre-match physio. Okay, cool. I was going to do the same for Damien Priest. Turns out you can only do it once per week. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff, mate. Yep, so... This is big risk now. Damien Priest wins. wins. That means he's probably injured. Four and a half oh, stars. It's classic. It's a classic. It does not perform. No, no rivalries, injuries. No oh. injuries. That's okay. Fine. Yeah. Great. Great. You're all good. All right. Not the worst thing that could have happened. Not the worst. That's actually. But honestly, great shows all round. That's actually fine. Well done, everyone. No, I was, I was going for the controller, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. No, I'll do it. No, sorry. Thanks, mate. <laughs> okay. Amazing. I need to check stamina. 47, 47, you're fine. You're all fine. 38. 38. Yeah, you need yeah. to rest. You're not a champion yeah. anymore. Uh, you're fine. And 26, Whoa. 32. Whoa. You guys need to yeah. rest. Woof. Yeah. I mean, 40 was, uh, uh, Autumn was only in like early 40s before the match. So that checks out. Man, cool. look at that as a, a drama curve Woo. there. That one and a half star match from Raw. We, we, we all kicked it with the main event. Yeah. Yeah. So each of us had like one not great match. We had the yeah. two stars on NXT 2.0, 1.5 on Raw, and a 1.5 on SmackDown. Wild! Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Angelo, uh -huh. off you go with your three, three stamina. Victory. But and Cody's, the title. Cody's going to cut some promos. That's fine. They're all... Uh, Dijak, that's a surprise me. Um, 31, 27. 27. Oh, so yeah. This is going to be a rough 
Post pay per view. This Woof. is going to be rough, man. Yeah. 38, 47, okay. okay. 43. Yeah. 46. 25. 25, 28, 30, 43. Yeah. None of those are great. 20 21, and 21. 20, oh, man. oh, none of those are great, Luke. None of those are great. Hang on. Match specialties, two stars. Biggie's match specialties, extreme rules. <laughs> Game? <laughs> what the f***? Well, that maybe he's like good at it. He's just not that special. Yeah. Maybe it's like. like may my, my specialty is brownies. Like, that doesn't make Your really brownies are great! <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Right, okay, shall we continue, Pete? Let's. Away let's you go. See the fans, come on. Oh, yeah, come okay, on. Come on, SmackDown, come on. Oh. 131,000. Okay, okay, okay. That's so, pretty good. Oh, except other fan bonus minus, minus 14. 14. So, what uh. it did was it took away. So, you would have been on 145. Yeah. Piss. Sorry. So you just got 14,000 oh, fans. Thank that's for that. From one power card. Yeah, that yeah. helps. That helps. Let's have yes. another one of those. That'd be nice. Well, I've still got money. That's nice. Considering I bought the extra logistics and stuff as well. Yes. I've still got money. That's nice. At this point, in, the, in this version of the game, I'm like, if you're close to 100k, you're happy. You're all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we will wait until we buy logistics, and then we have to spend 200k on yeah, more logistics, lot, and then we it? won't. But right yeah. now, it's fine. Rivalry between Mahal and Randy Orton finally got settled. Can't wait for the aftermath. Yeah, sure. Not sure if Trixie Gambit's ready for the big time. Me neither. <laughs> what a killer show. Can't believe it just lost money on Mahal breaking the losing streak. Love watching Orton fight, but he's looking tired. Yeah, he's going to rest. He's going to rest. Chill out. Uh, like what Nikki did in that promo. Tonight's match has started strong and ended strong. She had a base match, my favorite part of tonight's show. Like that every match in this week's SmackDown felt different from the last one. Love that for me. Cool stuff. All right. One, two, nine, one, two, one, eight. Let's Man. see how oh, this God, went. Gonna get an extra bonus as well. Yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. not bad. That's not bad. Not good job bad I at good all. job I did it then. Yeah, yeah. that has helped me in a big way. Because goddamn, if so you didn't get those fourteen thousand twenty four thousand, yeah. And I would have been on hundred and forty four. Mm. I would have been twenty thousand fans more than you. I am very pleased with God. that choice. I'm not, however, pleased with the total profit loss margin. Although <laughs> we're over the budget, so that's fine. Um, also, mm -hmm. I yeah, that's a good good point. You got the logistics, didn't you? I did. The, the special special logistics, mm -hmm. and I just didn't go there. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's case in point. What happens when you don't mm -hmm. take the options when you can get them? Exactly. Um, Bailey's going to run to the ground carrying two every week. Definitely under break. Oh, don't you worry about Bailey. She's fine. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Sorry, that's. Uh, Uncle Howdy one's making me laugh. Where is he? Down, down. Next one, down. Howdy defending the NXT North American Championship once again. It's starting to feel a bit stale. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. A bit stale, mate. It's a bit stale, isn't it? Sort it out. Howdy, Paul. Howdy and Logan Paul are the reason I watch NXT 2.0. <laughs> Their rivalry is developing so much. Can't well, please everyone. Can't please really, Paul. Really solid yeah. contest between Paul and Uncle Howdy. You love it when <laughs> contrasting classes make. So look, listen, right? You know, NXT manager 81. I don't think. <laughs> there you go. Well, by the way, it sounds that they were helpful. born in 1981, which means they are like peak <laughs> winching yeah, on social yeah. media age. <laughs> Uh, right. So you are significantly, so you've got an extra 7,000 pounds on top of me. I am there. chuffed yeah. about that. Yeah. Okay, right. Here we go for Monday Night Raw. I think this is going to do well. 122. Oh, I'm um, actually disappointed in that. Yeah, I am too. That's the weakest of the three. Well that, well, that is, you would have been the same as Dan if Dan didn't, didn't get his extra fast. But I put uh, four title matches, mm -hmm. four gimmick, uh, mm -hmm. three gimmick matches. And you mm -hmm. did really well. I mean, the, the choke was good. The choke was, was good. I only had one, one and a half star match. I had all the logistics there with the pay-per-view bonus. Yeah, maybe if uh, maybe if Big E had stepped up in his specialty. <laughs> So did you have the arena, one of the other ones, and the pay-per-view yeah. bonus? You don't have to book them yourself, did you? No, 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 just, no. it just activates automatically. Just it. Oh, maybe get good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah I'm, get... I'm disappointed in that. I thought I'm I was going to be bigger. That's what she said. I'm going to watch back the footage after this. Yeah, disappointed. Well, well, we'll talk about that on the booking uh, podcast. Yeah, we'll talk about it on the booking podcast. Because I'm, I'm Because maybe there's something I've missed. Yeah. Oh yeah, I contract did my, negotiation. Uh, I did Very my, good. This would have come in handy this week. Mm. This, these contract negotiation power cards are so much better than they, they were mm. back then. They were good yeah, in the last game, but now knowing how you know mm. yeah. the contracts work and talent work. I, which I had to play mine on scripts this week. Yeah. Because uh, his contract was going to be up this week. But yeah. I said, now I want to keep him around. Which is interesting because the power card that I've got for uh, completing my goal. Mm, I've got one of those. Ooh, yeah. I've got one fun. of those. Reduced timing. Uh, Do you know what my commissioner goal was? What? Mm. Book your most popular baby face against your most popular heel. <laughs> Mine was, make sure you don't book your most popular cruiser. I was like, obviously not. Speaking of commissioner goals, can I raise a point of order mm. that we discussed yesterday? Uh, well, in our history. Sure. Yeah. Not directly yesterday yeah, yeah, for yeah. The, the people. Yeah. Um, you know how I've got that power card for you because you went over time? Sure. I do feel like maybe 
it's a little bit outsized. You went a couple of seconds over and a whole minute off your time maybe feels a bit cruel. So what if we changed that power card? And if, the, if you're going to suggest what I think you're going to, because you discussed this on the Raw podcast, I'm going to flip out. The power card should probably be that you're not a No, to do <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Not. Or, depending on how much overtime you go, <laughs> you can't do your commissioner goal that week. One for each second. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you go like 10 seconds over, that's one week. If you go 20 seconds over, that's two. No one's really going to go 30 seconds over. But if you did, that would be three weeks. You can't do it. I, I think I just put the motion forward, and I think it requires uh, two thirds consent to go through. Well, so I think, all in favor think, of the motion. I think we should discuss this on the booking podcast. Oh, okay. And we can have a firm decision the come people, next week. The people probably agree. I heard you talk about this in the Royal Podcast. Yeah. I was laying in bed, sick with the flu, <laughs> and I, I jumped out of bed. Like your man in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> you should have thought about that before you went overtime. Anyway, still second. Well, number oh, what one. A beautiful He's shot still that there. is. That is, yeah. and that is uh, a lot of fans ahead of you. So thanks so much, babe. Thirty thousand. Yeah, that's fans. a big God. gulf between first and second. <laughs> but, but look, <laughs> you have no champion. <laughs> Just me and Bale. Just me and Bailey <laughs> stubbing up there together. Love that. Yeah. I must have done something wrong in mine. We'll go into the booking podcast. I must have done something wrong. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Ah! <laughs> I've gone over time. He's still going. <laughs> you know we're near. <laughs> and you can go watch that episode right now over at patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk. And not just that, you get an extra thing this time because it's after pay-per-views, which means it's trading time. You can see the full cut of us doing our trades over at patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk and we will have the highlights of what happened in the trades in the week six episode as well. And we mentioned it a few times in the show today, but if you go over to Patreon, you will also get the booking podcast where we discuss how the weeks went, various things that have come a cropper for us and how we're gonna address those going forward. It's a good little podcast, I think. And a big thank you to this episode's sponsor, WWE 2K24. Get your copy of WWE 2K24 available on all gaming platforms using the link in the video description down below. We are having a a very, very fun time with this new edition of My GM Mode. And Dan Layton, mm. number one. Not just like outclassing people, also me as well. Like, you know. I mean, that one's not a shocker. 15 ahead of me. But so hey, second place. But I am currently second. That's where I wanted to be. Dan, if you hadn't played that power card, mm. have you done I, some quick I, I'd have been like, a thousand fans behind you. Oh, it would still would have been. Behind it, me. it would have been like a twenty-eight thousand fan swing, and you're currently thirty thousand in front of me. It's a good job you uh, didn't play that special promotion card. Then, <laughs> yeah, right. God. We'll see you next week. I've been Luco in DAD representing Monday Night Raw. I've been Pete Quinnell representing Monday Night SmackDown. And I've been Dan Layton representing Monday Night NXT 2.0. Jam that jam. <laughs>